everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rani Andini. I'm student of English Education in Indra Indra Prasta PGRI Jakarta. Um, in this video, I will do a micro teaching to complete my final examination teaching English for children course. Okay. Uh, here's I will uh, tell you about. Uh, methods of teaching aids. Here's the puzzle that I used to teach my with my daughter the, uh, in the next videos. The puzzle have nine of shapes. Uh, there are there are circular, heart, half round, pentagon, hexagon, oval. Triangle, square, rectangular. Okay, let's move to the videos of teaching it uh, using puzzle with Why my children. Why the puzzle? Let's check uh, it out. Because there is a lot of advantage like sharpen memory. Um, playing puzzle is useful for improving children's cognitive abilities. Through puzzle pieces and children's memory skills will be hard and then they will to try remember where the pieces are and put them together to form a picture that previously matched. Um, playing puzzle help children understand and follow instruction in achieving a goal. This game can also train memory because children will try to recall pieces of pictures, pattern, or word to match one another. In addition to requiring full concentration, putting together pieces of a puzzle also takes time. Well, this can be used as a way to train children's patience. Then the purpose of the puzzle game is the success of the child as assembling piece by piece into a complete picture. Well, when the children manage to finish it, then they will be amazed as a result and they will be more confident in their abilities. Oke, okay, setelah kalian lihat, uh, belajar dengan puzzle itu tidak hanya untuk usia dini ya, tetapi bisa juga untuk semua usia. Semoga videonya bermanfaat. Oke, okay, that is the videos. May the videos can be useful for us. Uh, terima kasih sekali lagi saya ucapkan. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh